What was your first experience with OKRs? My first experience with OKRs, I first found OKRs in 2015. Uh, I read a couple of blog posts and got excited. I was working for the UK's government digital service at the time, and they were such a natural fit for talking about all the great stuff, the agile stuff that was happening at the team level, and kind of lifting that up to the level of organizational strategy. And we were using OKRs in a number of teams to describe the portfolio and uh, ultimately go off and ask for 500 million pounds from Treasury, which was, which was nice. Um, so I kind of had some experience using OKRs for a while there. But where it really clicked for me was when I started using them in my personal life, uh, which, which uh, again, is a little, little weird, but, uh, but it was neat because I had just, my wife and I had just moved. We had a three-year-old son. Uh, I was working too much. We weren't sleeping enough. You know, life had a lot of room to improve. And uh, it was in January of 2016, I sat down with my trusty Sharpies and I, I wrote down some, uh, some OKRs on some sticky notes. And, and I think you found them for us, and didn't I you? And I found them. And I think we probably have them up here. I believe the, we do. In all their glory. But you can see it's, it's things like, um, you know, uh, making dinner more at home or, or date nights or, or getting more sleep or things like this. And they were kind of terrible OKRs because they were written in the third person. They used waffly language like, you know, improve or, or you know, get a little bit better at X, uh, which I try to avoid these days. But what was important about them is that they really opened a conversation. And in this case, a really important conversation with my wife and my friends and talking about how to actually make life better. And um, so I still use personal OKRs. They, they've gotten a lot more streamlined and a lot more, uh, a lot simpler these days. Uh, so it's things like uh, keeping my business profitable or making sure that I'm uh, I'm doing regular check-ins and that I'm happy and the family is feeling good and things like that. Uh, but I think what was really powerful about it is that they, even though I, I missed, I think I managed to sort of salvage date night, but not by much. A lot of those other OKRs, uh, uh, we, we missed them that quarter. But the conversations that it opened were really important, I think. And, and that was the biggest learning for me was, was to realize that this was a, a very simple, safe kind of framework for having really difficult, robust important conversations that people need to have together. And once I realized that in my personal life, I could start to see uh, in, in all the professional work that I was doing, you know, how when, when you really care about something as a leader, it's very easy to jump into a solution, which is what I had done with my own personal OKRs too, of, of saying, all right, well, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this. And they had that kind of to-do list quality. But, uh, but it's made me a lot more empathetic, I think, by, by practicing using them uh, in my personal life. There, there's something about you know, when you apply it to your personal life, right? Where it's like, you're setting goals for your personal life. And it's like, well, then now you're making me measure. It's like, there's nothing more personal than, than that. In the workplace, there at least is some sort of a disconnection in some way, right? This company, this organization, this thing, we're going to steer it. But it all comes down to the same thing. This is just like, OKRs are a vocabulary for articulating what we're trying to do. And if we're successful, this is maybe what it looks like. And so um, thank you for sharing your personal OKRs with the community. Because like, it's just, uh, you know, seeing these examples, I think, opened up people's like mental models of what, what and where and how. And, and really, even if you think about it, you may be, and folks who use OKRs may just be doing them without even calling them OKRs, right? It's like, hey, we really need to be doing this. And this is what it looks like if we get there, right? Mm -hmm.